My name is Sung A. Lee. Uh, I'm a Korean American pianist and a music educator. Um, currently, I live in the city of Fullerton, California, United States of America. This is my piano room, my private studio. This is where I teach my students. In April of this year, 2018, I was so fortunate to publish my very first book in my life with a publisher from South Korea, Jung Ong uh, Art Publishing Company. This is the book. I got this here. The title of the book that I published is called Dr. Sonia Lee's Secret Notes, Piano Collection, Volume 1. So in this book, what I have included is two things. Number one, all my secret notes. Everything about articulation and pedaling, my secrets are included in this introduction part of the book. And I also selected and edited 20 teaching pieces, all piano, from mainly from the intermediate level, okay? And I edited them and also included those 20 fun pieces with my introduction. So this is the book that I published. How exciting. I am super excited and hoping to publish the same book in English sometime near future. So today what I want to do is I want to share one of the pieces that I included in this book with whoever wants to learn piano or piano teachers who want to know how I teach or my secrets basically. So I'm going to share my secrets with you. Uh, my insight, my interpretation, you may not agree with my interpretations or my ideas, but I just wanted to share with you because again, I'm a passionate person, pianist and an educator. I just love teaching. So today I want to introduce one piece from this book. It's titled Puck, P-U-C-K, okay, Puck by who? Everybody probably heard Puck and you don't know what that is. But this was actually a piece composed by our Norwegian composer. His name is Edvard Grieg. G-R-I-E-G, Grieg, Edvard Grieg, as you all know. You'll probably know his piece. The most famous piece by Edvard Grieg is probably his piano concerto in A minor. He also wrote actually a lot of other piano pieces. And there are 66 small pieces, I'll call it small pieces. And he actually published them all at once. In 1894, okay, I believe he um, published all 66 piano pieces in 10 different volumes. And the piece that I want to introduce today, the Puck, is from his Opus 71 set, and it will be the third one. So Opus 71, number three, um, and it's in key of E flat minor. Okay, okay, very unique key, right? It's E flat minor. And this piece is really effective for a lot of young students because it only requires small hands. Oh, well, not only requires, but it's good for small hands, okay? Of course, if you have a big enough hands, great. But for small students, okay, they could play this piece no problem. Because there are a lot of five finger patterns like this, okay? And uh, well, so much going on in this piece, but if you know the key of E flat, if you know the basic penta scales, uh, if you know how to play the scales, and there are a lot of uh, repetitive patterns that you find in the score. So it is very attractive piece to a lot of young students. So I strongly recommend this piece as part of, part, part of your teaching pieces for those students who are looking for a fun piece to play. So why don't I just play this piece for you first, okay?
three. So, who is Puck? What is Puck? Okay, let me tell you about Puck. Understanding who Puck is, the characteristics of this character name, Puck, is very, very important. It's the essential key to understand this piece. So, as you all know, Puck is a character. It's a fairy or elf. Very clever, mischievous figure, okay? It appears in a play, comedy actually, uh, by, which was written by the most famous British playwright, as you all know, Shakespeare. So in his comedy, Midsummer Night's Dream, this character appears. So he's the one with a lot of humor, okay, uh, but clever, okay? So he's looking around and to see if there's anything he could make trouble into. So he's a troublemaker. So I, that's what I feel like from the beginning. He's starting with left hand. The very opening is all left hand start, set the mood in E flat minor. It's in cut time. So you really have to feel the one, two. Cut time, but it moves very fast, as you heard, okay? Fast tempo, a lot of notes, and some explosion, a lot of dramatic changes, extreme dynamics, everything is here in this piece. Okay, we start with left hand staccato. So this is, I feel like Puck is looking around to see if there's anything he could have fun with or make joke out of. So here, it does left hand staccato, you gotta make sure your hands aren't staying on top of the key. I call this as a classic fingers where you use the tip of your finger to land on the key. But you need to just simply make sure you glue them to the key and bounce up just very lightly like this. Because we want pianissimo dynamics and staccato articulation at the same time. And you gotta make sure, especially with the small hands, you gotta make sure you follow them. Okay? I call this follow through to my students. What it means is you have to make sure you align your arm to those fingers that's playing. So here we go, like this. It continues for about two, two lines, okay? Then here is a five finger pattern, including double notes. You have to go to those downbeats where you have two, two notes together called double notes. So you need to make sure that you stay to the top of the key using classic fingers because you need a very clean sound here. So the little students need to really practice and get those five finger patterns, penta scales down. Then he goes, there's another one in A flat, which is a minor five finger pattern. Then he goes again in G flat, then he goes, those are major by the way. So, and another one, okay, another one, and last one. So, you have about eight patterns of five penta scales here. So really working on those scales first will be very, very helpful, okay? And as you watch my pedals, I'm adding some pedals for those accent markings. Every time you have accents on dotted half note, I put my damper pedal down slightly from the top, okay? Just about halfway, so we could add some color and the, uh, and the volume to it, okay? So it sounds like he's looking for something, okay? Here it comes. called direct pedal okay this is what it means you play the you play with the pedal so you drop your finger and the pedal at the same time and release together as well okay it happens on the beats okay down beats like here I'll go slowly four times using direct pedal okay but of course in fast allegro morto tempo with this motif again. I'm gonna put my soft pedal down, soft pedal down for sure, okay? Because the soft pedal makes the sound soft overall, right? But at the same time, it gives a very special color. So I love using soft pedal time to time because I want extra color to this. 
then there's a little explosion. It's like a volcano. He goes to forte and ending with the forzato. The forzato is a very important accent sign that should be played sharper with more strength, okay? So I'll use my direct pedal one more time right here. Then second section starts with the left hand. Okay, this is where he creates more, I don't know, kind of spooky, eerie, eerie kind of mood, like this. In the left hand again, let me try again. Yeah, that's leading. So you've got to create the mood again. Then there's a little answer by right hand. It's moving by chords. And this is where you can feel the teacher student's voicing. Voicing means you have to make sure out of all this three note chord, there's one voice, one line, that's more important. We want to hear that one, which is on top. Don't you want to hear that? So, make sure you hear that more by going with extra speed down to the key. That's how you make a little louder sound than the other two voices. The other two, softer, that should be sounding more. And together, do you see here? So you have to make sure students practice on the voicing, okay, out of, for the chord. Uh, just earlier, it just got a little higher and it's continuing, okay, it's trying to build up some intensity to, to the mood of the piece. And you have another one, the answer in chord. So what do you need to do? Voicing. It's your top line. Then, look, after this, okay, he's getting, okay, more. change his attitude, behavior. He became very lovely, <laughs> I say, because he puts dolce. The composer, he puts dolce, sweet, okay? So, and pianissimo dynamics. So I want to introduce a very special pedal in here. I'm going to call this vibrato pedal. Or you could say a flutter pedal. What you do is simply, look at my foot, please. You flutter your foot on damper pedal, okay? Which will kind of mix the sound together because we're creating the space between string and the damper that's sitting on top of the string. There will be a space created, right? And you're not gonna let go of this, this space. For the space, during with a, a space created, the strings will continuously vibrate because that's what you're doing here, the vibrato pedal, okay? And with that pedaling, it gives you a very, very special effect, like this. Did you hear? I even added soft pedal to it. So that's how you could show the special color with a special effect and sweet dolce character. Okay? So again, Puck, our main character, he has changed his attitude. Okay? He was doing all kinds of mischievous stuff and making troubles here and there, looking for searching for all this kind of you know um oh, stuff. Then he is he's got to be very mellow. And I love this part. Then look, we're gonna stop the tremolo pedal here, but continue. Crescendo molto. Molto means very much. So it's gonna be it's it's like a very aggressive kind of um crescendo and he puts accent then he introduces this very from C major he goes to this very dissonant harmony okay by the way the dolce part where you use the vibrato pedal was in C major chord oh my god I love that part okay so anyway so he builds up he changes it into the back to himself again that's how I see so here he goes Then he goes to the E major chord, 
One crescendo. Surprise. He's stopping all of a sudden. Here, with just one single note, E flat. One more time. Again. Then, because it's E flat with accent, that stays as tied. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars long. Of course, you're going to keep your fingers down on the B flat for the right end. And in the meantime, your left hand will play some chromatic scales, okay? The bass line. I think this is a really good opportunity that you could introduce your middle pedal, this pedal, sostenuto pedal. You know the function of sostenuto pedal. It helps the note you catch, okay, permanently, as long as you hold it down. So we're gonna, I'm going to use SP here. Make sure you play the key and SP down so we get this. B flat stays. Right? So that's why you gotta introduce it if you if you can. Okay, I really strongly encourage you to do that right there. Okay? So after that part, okay, let me try again. SP, right? Continue with chromatic scales down. Then take back to researching time. Okay. So this all comes back again. The first section comes back basically. And again, this is where you're going to use the direct pedal. The second time you turn, you got to show me in fortissimo. So get, make sure your arm weight is used. You fall every weight of your arm. Go down to the key, okay, with your direct pedal. Again, blocking the chord. That's a very good idea. And work on your hand position to really get the double notes with accent. And surprisingly, of course, He's gonna finish with some kind of volcano, volcanic uh, explosion at the end. Double forte with polizzato. Big accent again. I'll definitely play more from his release from my pedal and also my gesture. Okay, so that way you could end this piece with powerful power and energy after all this journey of uh, our character Puck. Okay, uh, this is what I want to be sharing with you. Just brief outlines or my ideas or my interpretations that I love to share uh, with my students. I thought I decide to, I'll share um, with you guys too. So, uh, hope thanks for watching my video. Uh, I'm gonna continue with this video series. What it means is I'm gonna start introducing more pieces from my book. Again, here's my book, <laughs> Dr. Song Yen Lee's Secret Notes Piano Collection Book One. Thank you for watching my video one more time.